What is up, YouTube? It's Spooky Loops, and I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. Well, my friends, the much-anticipated mid-chapter patch has finally hit live servers. And believe me when I say, things are very, very different. Aside from perk changes and, of course, longer generators, Dead by Daylight has also collaborated with Attack on Titan to bring us some super badass cosmetics. But for today's video, I'm going to be bringing four newly buffed perks and one extra scary armor Titan. Buckle up, everyone. The bakery's open. In celebration of the Attack on Titan collaboration, I'm going to be secretly planting two cosmetic key codes somewhere in this video. One code for the Armored Titan, and one code for the Warhammer Spirit cosmetic. The codes will appear somewhere in the video and will look something like this. Best, right? So pay attention. My first perk is Lethal Pursuer. I've always been a fan of this perk, but now it's gotten even better. At the start of the trial, all survivor's auras are revealed to me for 9 seconds. However, any time a survivor's aura is revealed to me by any means, that aura is increased by 2 additional seconds. Yes, that applies to the start of the trial, and yes, that applies for add-ons. Speaking of add-ons, those are going to play an important role in today's video. My first add-on is Renjiro's Bloody Glove. Whenever a survivor comes into contact with the Blood Orb, their aura is revealed to me for 3 seconds. But due to the Lethal Pursuer buff, that aura is now increased to 5 seconds. And there's going to be a lot of blood, because I'm also going to be bringing Splintered Hull. This increases the amount of Blood Orbs a survivor drops by 33%, and adds more blood for whenever they Vault, Crouch, Exit a Locker, Miss a Skill Check, or Drop a Pallet. So pretty much do anything. My second perk is Jolt. Whenever I put a survivor into the dying state with a basic attack, all generators within 32 meters of me will explode, immediately losing 8% of its progress. However, the cooldown for Jolt has been removed, meaning if I get consecutive downs, those gens are going to pay for it. My next perk is Overcharge. This perk received a slight change from the PTV, but is still insane. Whenever I kick a generator, its regression speed increases from 75% up to 200% over the next 30 seconds. Also, the next time a survivor interacts with this gen, they'll be met with a difficult skill check. And if they miss that skill check, it'll cause the generator to explode with an additional 5% loss of progress. Aside from melting generators with overcharge, I'm also going to be applying my fourth perk, Eruption. After damaging a generator, the next survivor that goes into the dying state will cause all eruption gens to explode, losing 10% of its progress, also incapacitating any survivor working on it for the next 25 seconds. So with this build, I should be able to have consistent visual on where survivors are, while blowing up as many generators along the way. Let's see how these survivors do against the Armored Titan. Alright, we are on the Grim Pantry, and I'm playing with the new Attack on Titan cosmetic, Armored Titan. And we have Lethal Pursuer now, which has been buffed to 11 seconds. But I'm also running the Bloody Glove Iridescent add-on, which also shows me their aura of survivors while they're within pools of blood, or uh, blood orbs, rather. Exciting stuff. All right. There she blows. Oh. <laughs> She's right here, okay. And that's going to be... Jolt upstairs for us. Let's get rid of this pallet. Boop. All right, we lost one of our gens there. I reckon this is going to be a pallet drop. But with the new killer buff, we're able to kick pallets a little bit faster, which is buckets of fun. Pallet there. No pallet. All right, we should get a hit right here. No problem. Just kidding. I fucking suck. There we go. All right, cool beans. Which saw first, indeed. <laughs> right, there is a boon that is up. Okay, so we see some blood orbs over there. He went upstairs. Very nice. All righty, let's go catch him while we can. We should get a nice tasty jolt here, I reckon. Don't be dead hearted now. All right, and that's going to be eruption on that gen. No jolt nearby, so we know that none of the generators in this vicinity are being actively repaired, which is good. Let's go ahead and put them up in the corner here. Up you go, buddy. Now, the good news is we can still go ahead and use Demon Dash, so we can go ahead and lay down our big Titan Hammer here. All right. A little on the slow side. That's quite okay. Okay, so this gen's got some progress on it. We're going to have it completely get destroyed with Overcharge. Also, the cool thing about Overcharge is the original difficult skill check still applies. So it's still going to be inside uh, inside the perk. has not changed, which is cool. All right, that's going to be uh, our blood orbs there. And Lethal Pursuer is going to allow it to be a little bit longer by an extra two seconds. I don't think we want to go after him. Let's swing back over here because we know there's a save. And we can go and blow this gen up a little bit more. That's the Overcharge skill check, which is huge. All right, good stuff. 
lot of progress in this gen as well, too. Looks like Meg's gonna jump off it. Let's go ahead and hit with overcharge. Just went down. Oh, there she is. Life, very nice. And we'll overcharge this. Plus, we have eruption on three gens, which is going to be awesome. We got to make sure we get it down here in a relatively good time. All right, we see she's going for the vault. Nice. Balance landing. Big fan. Big fan indeed. Okay, there's that one. If I can get her down in the middle, that'd be awesome. Survivors also don't make a whole lot, a whole lot of distance anymore, based on the uh, the new patch. Oh, we're gonna get big jolt value here. Oh, that's a big jolt, a big eruption. So all these survivors are now incapacitated, which means for the next, I believe, 20 seconds, 25 seconds, they're not able to work on gents, which is lovely. And the cool thing about jolt is now it procs multiple times without a cooldown, which is freaking awesome. A lot of blood here, though. There's a save. Oh, we're essentially keeping an eye on her the entire time. Down she goes. Okay, Zarina just came off the hook with, uh, I believe, Deliverance. Which means that she is uh, most likely has off the record, I would imagine, as long as she doesn't perform a conspicuous action by touching a gen, which she may have just now. Hey, we see someone that, that okay, there's our uh, there's our Zarina way down there. And she's, uh, we can tell just by, by checking out the orbs that she's going to a location where there's really no, really no generator over there. So we don't have to worry about that too much. I think what I'll do is I'll use my power here. Being that we have a lot you know, we have a lot of uh, generators are proc for eruption. There's a good vault by him, and he's down he goes. There we are. All right. So that gen's looking nice. That one's looking nice. And this one uh, is probably got some progress on it. There we go. This fire muscle will peel off this gen. Let's go ahead and hit kick with overcharge. And add eruption to it. Of course, if you want to make it even more devastating, you can also run Call the Brine to overcharge, which will definitely help. But every single time we kick these gens, they're going to be met with a very difficult skill check. It looks like someone over here is getting healed because we can tell by the blood orbs. Very nice. There's our boy, David. Let's go back for him, actually. All right. There we go. Sweet deal. All right. We have two gens remaining and also two survivors up. But both of our eruptions went down because we put David into the dying state. So we should be able to get an idea. These gens are super duper close together. Nice. Serena's there. Give this guy a kick. Of that. They got gen done. Very nice. Okay, there she is. We can see her blood. Nice. Big old smooch for you. Good vault. Double back. Alrighty, buddy. So, they have uh, did the gen over on the other side of Shaq. Which means that um, we're in a really tight 3 gen, which is super nice. But they do have Shaq Pallet that's up. We'll go ahead and fake our red stain. Come back to the window. Nice. Not good enough, buddy. Not good enough. Okay, so we're very, really, really close. All, all three of those generators got hit with Jolt. But I think there's not really uh, anything being actively worked on. Which is good stuff. We see Megs right there because of the Lethal Pursuer with the Glove add-on, which is lovely. And now we can go and just use our power. We should be able to GG this, actually. All right, and that's game. I say we try that again. All right, we're on Midwich Elementary School. One, two, and where the hell is everyone else? Oh, Distortion. Oh, wait, nope, three. Okay. Which is pretty dang cool. Right? Yeah, all righty, buddy. Okay, let's get in chase with Felix. Good stuff. Love the cosmetic. I think we're very on theme here today. Being at Midwich is a... Uh, 
pretty much the smallest map in the game. I reckon that we're most likely, most likely going to get a lot of jolt value here, I would imagine, but I could be wrong. Right? Just getting rid of all the pallets here. Very cool. All right, this is a really nice pallet up here. I think he's, oh no, he's gonna go over this way. Very nice indeed. Ooh, good stun, love that. All right, I think we've broken five pallets on this map, if I'm not mistaken. I think we're going for a record here, actually. And mistakes have been made. Big jolt there, love that for me, okay. And that was like pallet number six or seven, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead and pick him up. We're probably gonna lose another gen, I reckon, very, very soon. Very close with the flashlight, I am a fan. Nice, there's that gen down right there. Unfortunately, Jolt was only able to pick up this one and probably went downstairs too, if that's the case. If everything goes according to plan, she went and touched this gen because it's so close to being finished that we're gonna be able to apply Eruption and Overcharge to that. Did you actually go down? I think she did. She did, very nice. All right, we still have some palaces. Oh, very nice corner tech actually, big swing. All right, and there's our power there. Let's see if we can do a little stall. And there's her blood, so we know exactly where she's at. We'll do a moonwalk, catch her off guard. All right, and that'll be another juicy jolt. Hell yeah, I do love the sound effect that the, the blade makes. Fuck, it's a fun. A lot of people actually don't know this, but there is a little secret passageway on Midwich here, in case you didn't know. It's a little secret tunnel that makes it a little bit easier to get to and from these locations. All right, let's go ahead and get in our jolt there. We're not gonna pick him back up. We're just gonna slow the game down a little bit because we wasted so much time being in chase with pallet dropping Felix. There you go. Love that for me. Whoa, big blind. Let's see how much of his flashlight we can waste. Let's give it a kick. And let's see what he does here. Down the hole he goes and big swing. All right, now we're getting this ball a rolling, which is good stuff. So we know that they uh, we unlocked the secret tunnel. They're probably they just got Felix up, so I think it's time we use our Titan power. Let's go ahead and do a demon dash. Here we go. Oh, buff a. I'd be very scared as well. That's not gonna work there. Let's go ahead and oh, Meg, hello, and hello there. All right, good enough for me. Secret tunnel. So we do know that uh, Felix and David are healing, so I would imagine they're gonna be coming up the stairs momentarily. Let's go ahead and swing down here and say what's up. Oh, perfect, my favorite guy. Here, they're all down here, massive. Ooh, very unfortunate. And Jolt is gonna go ahead and just beat up that gen as much as it possibly can. That's pallet number eight for this guy, I believe. Oh my, 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 my. Good stuff. With that flashlight, very bad, don't you? Okie dokie. Up you go, back to the secret tunnel we must go. How you doing? There you go, buddy. We'll overcharge this. Ooh. <laughs> if I know a thing or two about Blast Mine, we always know that the survivor's probably gonna stay close enough to see it happen. I don't see any blood over here, so he's still over in the teacher's lounge. There he is. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You want a dead art? Does he have it, you think? Big old jolt on multiple generators. Huge fan. Here you go. And we see Aura reading here, some blood orbs. Injured survivors. Looks like she's gonna slow vault that window. Yeah, you can hit through these windows. <laughs> Be very careful, bud. Up you go. Let's go ahead and break this pallet. So we are on a 2v2. It's just Felix and Kate left, three gens. They're both on death hooks, so I think what we could do is we can probably use our power here and kind of just zoom around and see if we can find anyone working on gens. Progress there. Oh, here we go. Okay, she's right over here. 
Good to see ya. And that's game. <laughs> okay. Fun stuff. Let's go ahead and get you up there and let's give this a kick. And let's see what overcharge can really do. Now remember it's gonna ramp up to 200% regression over 30 seconds. Good stuff. Family residence. Ooh, kind of this place. Old stomping grounds, kind of. Well, you know. Anyways, one, two, three, and I don't know what the fourth is. Maybe uh, on a generating? I don't know. Okay, but Lethal Pursuer is up. We know there's a survivor over here somewhere. Did you happen to jump in that locker? I probably would have heard you fall, right? All right. Value right off the gate. Let me poke you in the nipple real fast. Oop. So we know with lead that we saw someone working on this gen. So let's make our way over there and kick it with our big, nice feet. Hello. All right. Scratch marks. Um, I, so far, I've yet to go up against Dead Heart. I've also haven't seen Lightweight yet in play, which is kind of bizarre. Kind of hoping I would. Give us a big old uh, Titan punch there. Ooh, nice gen. Very nice gen completed. Ooh. Big swing. Oh, right in my big old cheddars. My cheddar biscuits, baby. So we'll see your blood momentarily. There we go. She's gonna vault again. And vault again. And down she goes. And look at all this delicious blood. Love that for us. Okay, so David just got rescued. We know we hooked him on the other side over here. So we gotta make our way over there and hopefully I have multiple survivors. Here we go. Oh, I don't know what that lag was all about. Howdy, I'm coming, I'm coming in. Oh, that's a double, double eruption. So we have two survivors that are incapacitated, giving us enough time to hopefully get caught up on this hook. And we'll just zoom right back over there with our power. Because we know they cannot work on that gen in particular for quite some time. Alrighty there. Cool. Okay, we do hear some progress on that gen. Kalana just got saved. Let's go ahead and make our way back into the main building. And then we will apply overcharge again. And there's a save. We got some blood orbs here, so we should see. There's Fang. We want David. David's the one we want. Ooh, that was a stupid swing. Yikes. Oh, lethal. Lethal with the, with the extended time for the blood orbs is massive. Big fan of that one. All right. Lots of blood over here. Nice. Lots and lots and lots. All right. Down you go. Ooh, very nice. Pop that gen. No way I don't see you with your neon clothes. Here we are. Oh. Big old jolt there. Excellent. So because our, even though the fang went down, but we do know our chase music kept going, we know that there's a survivor up there as well too because they were just close enough to be considered in chase. All right. Let's overcharge it. Here we go. David again, my my favorite. <laughs> I'm telling you, the power of just standing still sometimes is immaculate. All right, there's Fang. Two survivors over there. I don't think there's any gem, but if he's taking us over to this gem and has progress on it, we're gonna get a nice jolt on it. Ooh. Nice, nicely done. There you go. All right, we see someone inside right now. Very nice, very nice. That's gonna be overcharge. <laughs> overcharge indeed. Apply eruption to that. Choose our power. We see somebody up here, but we want to go back to main building and patrol that area as well. 
Actually. That works. Nice. Yeah, with the combination of overcharge, eruption, and a little bit of jolt here and there, we've been completely decimating these pal are these uh generators. It's lovely. We don't even have Call of Brian on either. Alright, Fang's back here. We'll do a little moonwalk, fancy move. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, you're in here. Good stuff. There we go. Oh, no way I opened the wrong one. <laughs> no way I opened the wrong one. Nice play. Good for you. <laughs> and down she goes. And we get to pick her up with some blood. Let's go ahead and use our power because we know exactly where she is. So let's get this game to an end. And that is game. All right. So with the combination of overcharge, jolt, eruption, with lethal pursuer always giving us crucial information as to where everybody is, has definitely made a difference. Very, very fun play, very smooth. But all right, my friends, I think that's gonna be it for the Armored Titan. Catch you all on the next one.